All right, Shalom. 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 We want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Dub honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akimah to push the word of sincerity and the truth. It's the brothers here from Great Millstone, Atlanta. And um, there's going to be a, a continuation on the history of the kingdoms. And uh, this kingdom is going to go into the fourth kingdom, which is written in the book of Daniel. Uh, um, as the, um, if I'm not mistaken, the... Um, Matter of fact, look it up. I think it's the iron, mm -hmm, which represents yeah. uh, Rome. All right, Rome. Uh, like I said, it, it, which is the fourth kingdom, the uh, successor kingdom of the kingdom of Greece. The last kingdom we went into was the kingdom of Greece, and um, we went into how impactful it was um, to basically the world. You know, the, as the uh, saying goes, that Greece was the uh, beginning of civilization, and really that was the first um, stronghold that the Edomites. You know came back to possess you know prior to them you know you had the babylonians and the persians and the medes but when esau came into power he basically had full dominance you know um and of course in, in greece what was big there uh what was prevalent uh in greece um you had the olympics you had the gymnasium you had um all kind of um sports that um and you had the education which school School is a Greek word. That word actually goes back to Greece. The school's educational systems really started in Greece. And uh, later on, you know, of course, after Greece fell, which Greece, Greece fell to the Romans, Rome became the new big brother, so to speak. And when Rome fell, I mean, excuse me, when Rome, Rome rose, it broke all the kingdoms down. You know, which uh, it tells you that in the book of Daniel, mm -hmm. uh, which we, we'll read right now. Oh, brother has that day. Yeah. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 19. Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the all the others, mm -hmm. exceeding great, exceeding dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass, which devoured, break in pieces, and stamped the residue with his feet. Yeah, it says his teeth were iron and his nails were brass. The, the uh, teeth in the scriptures represents uh, military might. You read that in uh, mm -hmm. Psalms where uh, David told uh, the Most High to break their teeth, O Yahweh. When you, when, uh, whatever you use your teeth for is for grinding and tearing. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that's some of the most, I would say, strong elements of of of, of ripping things apart on your body, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your, your your nails, but how much can these do? You know, if you want to really, <laughs> you really want to get dirty, you you bite somebody. Then yeah. uh, who was that? Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, bit the guy's ear off. Bit the guy's ear off. When you look at animals, that's that's typically their main um, defense mechanism. Uh, that's right. You know? So amongst uh, a large group of men, the, the, the teeth represents military strength. Um, so it says iron teeth because iron is a very, very strong uh, element. And I remember a brother went into this mm -hmm. point years ago. Um, as the kingdoms develop, the... the um, the, the, the mineral faculty uh, gets depreciated, so to speak. Gold turns to silver. Silver mm -hmm. turns to iron. Mm -hmm. Iron turns to brass. But he said what happens is, what, at the same time, though, they become stronger. God. Because iron is not as is, is, is glorious as gold, but which one is stronger? Iron. Mm -hmm. Gold is, a, is known as to be malleable. You could take gold, you know, that true, real, uh, true uh, carrot gold, and you can actually bite it to see the, the um, see if it's actually a uh, true gold, and if it bends, you know, the right way or whatnot, then that shows that it's true gold. Mm -hmm. But you can't do the same thing with iron. Iron doesn't bend, so to speak. You know, so that kingdom of 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 Rome um, was a very very strong kingdom. Yeah. And we have the map right here, of course, the Roman Empire, and you see how mm -hmm. how far it expands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see by its um, it's uh, the reds. That's the uh, what see is that um. Um, let's see, this I want to say in, in today's time that's the uh, the Red Sea. I want to say, but uh, but I was gonna just make the point that you see, um, by their by their uh, sea, the sea right there in the middle. That's well, you have the Red trade. Sea a little bit under. You know, you have, you have the Mediterranean Sea. Um, mm -hmm. Matter of fact, type, I'm gonna type that in. Matter of fact. To look up what sea, which body of water this is, because this is an important body of water. This that's a good point that um, mm -hmm. the captain had brought up. You know, is the 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 
the uh, C, because that's that deals with trade. If you have a control over a C, then you have a control over people. Mm-hmm. But you can go ahead. What you wanted to? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I just keep going. It okay. says. Uh, and, um, and I want to say, uh, okay. you know, uh, when you see the map, you know, you have all these different uh, land masses uh, that uh, they possess, you know, from North Africa through the Middle East, because they took us down as a people. The Israelites, you know, you have, um, uh, you know, Greece, Syria, all, all these different uh, lands. Uh, uh, Rome, of course, Rome, that was the empire. Mm-hmm. And you have all these different lands that uh, border uh, Italy, which Rome had a full control over, you know. So you uh, continue. Kind of says, whose, uh, whose teeth were of iron mm-hmm. and his nails of brass, which devoured, breaking pieces, and stamped with resi- stamped the residue with his feet. Yeah, so the residue represents the remainder. Mm-hmm. All right, and, and the uh, residue were those kingdoms, Babylon, mm-hmm. the Persian and the Medes, Greece. It you superseded. Know, it superseded those kingdoms. Mm-hmm. It is uh, just... Uh, that is the Mediterranean Sea, my mm-hmm. big body of water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then the top right is the Black Sea. Yeah. Then bottom is the Red Sea. Yeah. Bottom mm-hmm. right. Which that um thing that word Mediterranean Med is um Medi is a uh, middle, mm-hmm. and terrain is earth. So basically, they had possession of the world. It's the middle of the earth. That's why they say that um you know Jerusalem is the center of of the earth. So the Mediterranean is the main body of water of the earth. Now, of course. That's not saying it's the most important, but it is very, very important to have control over this. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, you had the Moabites, you had they different lands mm-hmm. that uh, that they conquered. But when you read the scriptures, it all, it speaks about the ones that had control over this cusp, because when you have control over that body of water and that people, which the the, the main people of the earth are the Israelites, then you control the world. That's right. That's how we know that the Jews control the world. You know, you have America. Which is a uh, bigger, which there is at the end of the day is controlled by the Jews any goddamn way, mm-hmm. but um, the Jews have control over the the, the main, um, I would say kingdom, or or the main state of 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 all the world, which is the the land of uh, Israel. Mm-hmm. But you right. can you can continue. Kind of says, uh, and the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up and before whom three fell mm-hmm. even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things whose look was more stout than his fellows mm-hmm. yeah so you know um that whose look was more stout than his fellows basically saying that it's more is a greater dominant yeah it's basically dominant you mm-hmm. know and even when you go into that you see how america came into play because three kingdoms fell uh, during that time, uh, that sprang out of the Roman Empire, which uh, the Romans and uh, of course the Europeans, they they took their travels to the to the to the Western world. Mm-hmm. And amongst the Western world, you had the main kingdoms: um, Spain, Britain, and um, France, that made the expeditions to uh, conquer America, uh, as it as it um, was known, you know, of course, but. Britain, Britain broke off and became um, depend- independent, and that's how you have America today, which was more stout than its neighbors. Mm-hmm. But it all sprung out really through the Roman Empire because Rome, um, Rome had its his its waxing phases and it had its waning phases. Yeah. And we're reading right now about the uh, inception, about the strength, of the, the 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 strong superiority of that kingdom at the time. That's right. Mm-hmm. And what made it superior? So it was the military. As well as, because um, when you control the when you control people when you have a stronger military, you control everything else that that lead, leads uh, streams down the line, so to speak. Uh-huh. That's why America is the number one kingdom, not because it has better <laughs> goods or because it has more financial stability, but c- because it has the biggest uh, military on, on the face of the world and, right. and, and on the face of the uh, you know of the people. Uh-huh. No other uh, people can take this place down, so they can they have ability. To um, stretch the dollar, you know, to uh, to uh, re uh, uh, um, remineralize, so to speak, the, the finances, mix it with all kind of, God. you know, uh, um, BS, so to speak. Keep going. It says, "I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them mm-hmm. until the ancients of day, the ancient of days came, 
and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Yeah, and that's the time that we're living in now. Mm -hmm. Because that same kingdom, which we're living in Rome today, we was discussing off camera how uh, you have in, um, in Georgia, you have Rome, Georgia. And you got Rome all over uh, different parts of the United States. Mm -hmm. So wh why are all these places called named after Rome? As well as when you're in the um, educational field, when you get up in the higher um, universities and, and college, you have to learn s some, some Latin, man. Mm -hmm. If you're a lawyer, you got to learn those Latin terms. When you go to court, they'll, you know, you might have, um, have to plead NOLO. NOLO is Latin. You know, you have uh, this term uh, mens, mens rea, which that's a form that's Latin. So when you're dealing with lawyers and you're dealing with um, the law system as well as the medical system, a lot of those words, you, you know, you read about... Um, uh, uh, about the the the, bo the body's physio physiological uh, makeup, you have uh, what's that? Mm -hmm. The glute gluteus maximus. You have um, you know your deltoids. All these different parts of your body. A lot of those words are really really go back to Latin. So mm -hmm. so in order to be really prominent and really a top have a, a top position in America, so to speak, you know you have to be pretty proficient in the Latin. Which Rome, of course. Is where uh, Latin sprang out of. Uh -huh. um, but I wanted to also get this whoop, this scripture and there's like one. Okay, more. you can keep going. It says, "Thus he said, thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces." And what made it more div 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 diverse than the other nation the uh, uh, kingdoms that was before? You got that in Maccabees. Uh, you know hmm. how, it, how it set itself up because when you deal with the Babylonians the Babylonians was a kingdom you know it was a dynasty of, of individuals when you deal with um, the Persian and the Medes you had the kingdom of the Persian and the Medes those were, were monarchies all right mm -hmm. it wasn't no democracy it wasn't no voting it it was it was whatever it says goes even when mm -hmm. you're dealing with the, the uh, children of Israel um you know, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Who voted King David in the office? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Who voted King Saul in the office? Nobody. The Lord put them there. The Lord put them there. Mm -hmm. They were anointed through the, through the Holy Spirit, and they, they, they sat on that throne. No, no Israelites actually passed out pieces of paper and said who they feel like can be. All right, this is a good representative, man. You know, God. as the look, you know, mm -hmm. that started really in Rome. Where you could actually elect uh, senators and, and things of that nature. That's why you have, you know, in America, you have a, a voting system. Mm -hmm. You know, where you, you, you count the popular votes, which the word popular deals with the populace, the people votes. Which the popular votes don't, you know, don't, don't no, even, even matter. Mm -hmm. Because it's really the electoral votes. Mm -hmm. Which is the elect, the word elect goes into eclectos, which is the chosen votes, who they choose. Because these Edomites really choose who are in power. And really, to a certain degree, they don't even choose. It's really the, uh, the, the elitist, man. Yeah. So the whole party and play, the, the, the playwright and script, so to speak, changed up. It was really more um, literal and it was way more upfront with the people. Now, it, it, dealing with Rome and these different kingdoms, it was, it was a lot more deception that came into play. Yeah, kind You got that? Yeah. This first uh, Maccabees chapter 8 and verse 15. It says, moreover... How they had made for themselves a senate house, mm -hmm. wherein three hundred and twenty men sat in council daily, yep. consulting a way for the people, to the end they might be well ordered. Right. So you have today in today's time you have the senate, you have the, the house of the republic, mm -hmm. um, you have the different branches of the government, you have the judicial branch, mm -hmm. the legislation, legislative branch, you have the executive branch, and these different branches. They're the ones that pass policy because you can't just you can't stamp policy down just like back in the ancient world. Whatever if King David wanted to make uh, establish a rule, then it would be that. Now he had counselors, you know. You had the law lawyer, which were the yeah. priests, you know, which would would be a house. Really, Esau took the, that same layout and he built upon it, you know. But mm -hmm. whatever the king said, that was it. It mm -hmm. was it was it was stamped on the books. You know, because they had the word of the Most High. They were anointed uh, divinely by the Lord. 
Mm -hmm. But with Rome, even like in today's time, if you want to pass a uh, legislation, you know, you have to go through the different branches of the government. You know, if, if and they all have a particular faculty that they possess. Legislate legislations come from the legislative branch, and then you have executive mm -hmm. orders. You know, you have the um, executive branch. You have judicials, which they'll, you know, you know. I would say spell check, so to speak. You know, of mm -hmm. course, brothers can study on it to get a little bit more insight. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's really just the layout on how um, how Rome uh, established themselves and how they became diverse or different from their uh, if fellows. I, if I just you say too, this showing you that, uh, that um, America is Rome all over again because mm -hmm. they run uh, money the same exact way, run the same play. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It says uh, verse sixteen. Uh, it says, and they. And that they committed their government to one man every year mm. who ruled over all their country. And they committed, they, mm -hmm. the people, or the the electors, the Senate, uh, 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 committed their people. Not the, oh, that shows really the popular, you know, you have a lot of Jake that say really the popular votes don't matter today. Yeah, got hey, it. that's, that's the scripture to prove it. Mm -hmm. Because the senators at that time, they're the ones that put a man in prominence. Even Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar, uh, he was elected because prior to Rome being an empire, because it, it became an empire later on, it was known as the Roman Republic. And mm -hmm. that republic uh, sprang out with Julius Caesar. Yeah, which, got, uh, so oh, I, yeah, you, you I got something on that. Okay, uh, you got it. You, uh, it's just speaking about uh, Rome in the back of my uh, scriptures. Mm -hmm. Now let's read this uh, one little, um, part. It says, uh, Augustus was extremely efficient. As an as an administrator and corrected many of the problems that plagued the old republic. Ooh. Just just going into That's what you're saying as mm -hmm. far as uh you know uh Caesar, mm -hmm. you know because that Augustus mm -hmm. speaking of uh, Julius Caesar, you know it says. Well, that was after uh, uh, uh that was after Julius Caesar Augustus Caesar. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, kind of. So he yeah. basically uh established new policy. Mm -hmm. it says he corrected a lot of the problems in wickedness. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, and Augustus Caesar, according to, uh, you know, financial uh, studies, things of that nature, they say he was richer than Solomon. Mm. You no, know, he had a, he had abundant wealth because that was the true transition from the Republic to the Empire. And I, if I'm not mistaken, he ruled like 27 BC, you know, to give a timeline. Um, and when he came into power, he, like you said, he was cleaning up shop. He like, nah, this is how it's going. This is going. He, he came as an emperor. Mm -hmm. So really... The Roman Empire really didn't start with uh, Julius Caesar because yeah. Julius Caesar wasn't even an uh, emperor. He got killed by the Senate when you go into... Uh, they, conspired against they conspired against him. He got killed by the Senate. Uh, Brutus, you know, mm -hmm. and the men that was uh, amongst the Senate, he got killed by them at the in the Roman Republic. Mm -hmm. And that killed, that, was the, that was the end of the Roman Republic. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the, where you... Oh, you got it. I was going to say, uh, that's where you get that saying, uh, E2 Brutus. Yep. Um... Basically saying like you two. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, God. Yep. Basically, Brutus was in on it. Yep. And Brutus was the last to, to stab him with that dagger, and he finally killed him. Mm -hmm. And that was the end of the Roman Republic. It re sprang up with the uh, Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. So you uh, tell me yeah, it is a little more. It says he appointed pros um, pro procura so like it. procurators. Yep, procurators over these potentially violent areas. Where the Roman legions or armies were stationed, mm. Mm. Uh, Pontius Pilate was such a pro procurator mm -hmm. or governor over Judea. So, so that would be like um, establishing—I forget the uh, exact term—but when you have different cities and you actually uh, have like a general at the layout, you know. So, matter of fact, type in that word "procurator" yeah, yeah. If, if you don't mind. Um, because the, those certain men were stationed in a certain parts of the city. In today's time, what do you have? You have the mayors. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the mayor of Atlanta. Uh, what's that? Uh, Ke Keisha Lance uh, Bottoms? Yep. You know, you have these different uh, mayors. Governors. And you have these different governors and things of that nature. What you have state government. And we have to pay. That's why we have to pay what? Today is state taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, state taxes. Then you have to pay federal taxes. And that really started with Rome. That's so why. So many layers, too. It's so many layers with it. And and uh, that's what made Rome so much more diverse, and uh, we'll get that uh, in uh, Luke two, two yeah, you know about because that that leads all the way up to the um, to the prophecy. 
What'd you want to say? Taxations. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Taxations and uh, it leads up to your how a shot. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to read uh, both definitions. This is a uh, pro curator. And it's, uh, now it says law. It says an agent representing others in a court of law mm-hmm. and countries retaining Roman civil law. Mm-hmm. That's your governors. Yeah, it's That's your governors. governors. Because uh, they represent, you know, he's a procurator. He's not a, he's not the, the top, you know, guy because mm-hmm. obviously Augustus Caesar was on top. Mm-hmm. But basically, it's an order. Same way we have order with within, with, I mean, there's an order with everything. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, Rome, they, they established their order. It's supposedly democracy. But as you see, this is someone that's elected supposedly on behalf of the people but but basically you know he answers to the, his higher ups and That's so right. on and so forth and they get um it's it's like many uh, uh it's a word uh you know known as a uh, satellite states where mm-hmm. like if you were, if if esau would take a kingdom down they would elect a puppet government and they would they would call it a satellite state meaning they keep surveillance on them at all times so mm-hmm. these different these judges, they can't go outside of the penal code that's given to them. Mm, their, when jurisdiction. They, their jurisdiction. When they go to school and they study all these layouts and they know, all right, this type of theft is a minimum fine of so-and-so and this type of theft and things of that nature, they have to follow that rule book. If, if they twist and they, 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 they um, wiggle outside of that, pa- that, that paperwork that was given unto them, they'll throw their asses out, man. Yeah. That's how we know that this thing is lock, stock, and barrel, and majority of these jakes uh, in the government, they ain't going to shake because they have better pay in the government, and they have to follow up to the president, at the, you know, which is, uh, you know, of course, Trump, and mm-hmm. the, the leaders even above Trump, you know, because it's, 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 it's um, what they say, um, checks and balances. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. You got some more? Yeah, this is the uh, basically the historical definition. It says, uh, procurators was a title of certain officials, not magistrates, in ancient Rome who were in charge of the financial affairs of a province or imperial governor of a minor province. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had the magistrates, you know, which um, you, have, you basically have the same things today. And it's not that uh, aggressive as it was in Rome. You know, Rome, you would, you would have certain men that... Um, be outside. Of course, you have the different uh, buildings, uh, just like you have today. But you know, if, if things get rough, you know you have the centurions out there. You know, which is really today you have the police. Yeah. The police go that goes into the word of uh, uh, pol- policy or a uh, policy, which deals with the uh, p- people. All these words go into politics, police, populace, people. Uh, it's, it's really intersected, you know, because the populace uh-huh. represents the people. The police represents the people. Mm-hmm. The, the policy deals with um, the, people. the people. Policy, policy mm-hmm. deal, the root word of policy is police or polis. And the word polis deals with city. That's why you have like metropolitan, mm-hmm. a metropolis. Those are people. So it's all to control people, really. So the legislation, as a matter of fact, if you could get that uh, Daniel 8 and 25. Um, you said Daniel 8 and 25? Mm-hmm. I'm there. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is Daniel 8 and 25. It says, uh, Now therefore, it's like, you know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment, to restore and to build Jerusalem. Oh, 8 and 25. Uh, Daniel 8 and 25 <clears throat> says, And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, mm-hmm. and he shall magnify himself in his heart. Right, so this kingdom, through his policies that he lays out, he shall make craft, which is the word of craft. The word craft is... Uh, it's basically workings, and that's where you get the term witchcraft. So Esau, through his policies, he allows the craft of, of sorcery, wizardry, manipulation, and control to, to, to come through his kingdom, man. Mm-hmm. That's why when you read in um, leading up to the New Testament, so many jakes um, were, were, were 
up, up under a, a, a spell, man. They were such under a spell that they wanted to crucify their Lord and Savior okay. and, and, and um, f uh, uh, release a prisoner. Mm -hmm. and, and what did they say? We have no king but Caesar. Mm -hmm. When um, Pontius Pilate see, seen the, uh, the level of witchcraft those people were under, he was amazed. Because what? When Pontius Pilate uh, spoke about Yahweh Shah, he said, this is a righteous man. Him mm -hmm. and his, his wife. Vouched on beside on behalf of uh, Yahweh Shah because Pontius Pilate's wife had dreams that he was uh, innocent, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But Pontius Pilate couldn't go against the penal code. Why? Because he was a he was a little guy in the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. So if he would have went against it and, and saved Yahweh Shah, they would have came up against. They would have came against him. So mm -hmm. that shows you that Jake, man, Jake was under some heavy witchcraft in, in Rome. Through the policies, and you had what? The governments of, of, of Israel at that time, which were the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and they wasn't shaking. They were getting uh they were getting goodies from uh Rome. You know, they might have been getting tax write-offs. Just like today, you have what 501c3. Mm -hmm. Those churches, man, those church pastors, they live deliciously. Yeah. You know, it's been a big thing in uh the news where they speak about the um uh, uh all these different um these, these, these pastors actually having, you know, these different uh, jets and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know, they got all kind of jets and they got all kind of, they get all kind of money and revenue for, for their services because it's all tax write-offs, man. Mm -hmm. And right. the governments allows them to do that, to make so much money like these, uh, name some top pastors. Uh, uh, these, you know, you have Bishop Eddie Long, you have Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes, mm -hmm. you have Joel Osteen. They make mm -hmm. millions of dollars off of those people. Mm-hmm. Especially these black churches. So that was kind of like a, a level of uh, church, even back then, was the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you, you got that at all? It's, it's more than that. That's it. Uh, I think that was it. Okay, uh, Luke 2. Okay. This is Luke 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus. Augustus Caesar, which we just read about. Mm -hmm. You know, which he was a vicious individual, man. A real devil. Yeah. Keep going. It says that all the world should be taxed. <laughs> that all the world should be what? The whole should be taxed. Mm -hmm. I got something real quick too. Uh, okay. Hold on, real quick. Um, and back then you would have uh, tribute. You were you back then you say for instance you were a peasant so to speak or you were, you tilled the land but because peasants mainly were were land tillers they would work um, aggressively and whatever type of yield they would bring forth they would give a percentage of that to the to the to the um, Aristocrats, sort of the, the leaders mm -hmm. in today's time. How much if you if you work in and you're making seven hundred dollars a week, you gotta pay state tax, mm -hmm. you gotta pay federal tax, you gotta pay social security. Mm -hmm. I think this is it's this thing called FICO, which you have to take care of the disabled. That's why you have these uh welfare individuals that, that can receive all these benefits from the government. So paying all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Is right. the government no you. You you us individuals per per um Per citizen, whenever you work, you're paying for disability. You're investing towards uh, welfare recipients. You're investing towards retirement. When you get stopped by the government, uh, excuse me, stopped by the police, and you go and pay your fines, your tickets, read those tickets. See what's on them. You have certain things like Joshua Law. You have the uh, lawyers or the judges' retirement. You have to pay a percentage towards. The, say, for you get a $300 ticket, 100 of it, uh, might be the actual accident that you went through. You might have went through mm -hmm. an accident, or you might get a speeding ticket. Right, the, the ticket might be two hundred and twenty dollars. Maybe maybe a hundred and twenty is towards the actual speeding fine, but you might have to pay another hundred. Yeah, but you wind up paying three hundred. Yep. Because of fee, court fees, and, mm -hmm. and all the different things. That's wickedness, man. Because mm -hmm. um, all this stuff um, really amounts to greed. Which I got that this is uh, Isaiah ten and one. Woe to mm -hmm. them that declare that decree unrighteous decrees, mm -hmm. and that right grievousness, uh, which they have prescribed, mm -hmm. to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people. Yeah. So ultimately, it's to oppress Jake. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just to further oppress, uh, which you know that word oppress to me is to press down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and to basically uh, afflict them. Even more, and it says that the that widows may be their prey, 
and that they may rob the fatherless. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, so um, going back to Luke 2, I'll read it again. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. All the world. So everybody in this area had to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. They were being drained. That's why in today's time, you got to deal with the past to see today. Why are all these countries so so goddamn broke, man? Mm -hmm. Mexico is, is going through financial straits. Oh, well, look at uh, uh, what Trump is doing with these uh, tariffs. Mm -hmm. All these tariffs are basically taxes. taxes. Yeah, taxes. You know? It's taxes. Hey, that's, this is, the, this is the, being fulfilled again with, mm -hmm. with uh, all these... Um, because that's heavy right now in, in the international news is all these tariffs mm -hmm. that are taking place. Hey, he's taxing the whole world, basically. Mm -hmm. I keep going. It says, and this taxing was made first when Cyrenius was govern governor of Syria. Mm -hmm. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. Cyrenius. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city mm -hmm. of Nazareth into, Jude into Judea, mm -hmm. unto the city of David which is called Bethlehem, right? because he was of the house and lineage of David. So even those men in their respective, uh, their, their respective position, even they had to pay taxes to the king. Mm -hmm. So that's why Yahweh Shah said what? Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar. Even today, mm -hmm. you, you got a lot of niggas like DMX. Uh, it's a lot of jakes, man, that got caught up on Wesley tax evasion. Snipes. Wesley Snipes. You don't play those games, man. Yeah. The IRS, those are gangsters. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of jigs. I forget who, who was the first one that said that, but the IRS, those are true gangsters, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. They will bust your ass. Yeah, you do some time behind that paying taxes. Hell man. yeah. That's a fe that's federal crime. Yeah. That ain't just, you know, robbing a nigga, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's When you deal with federal crime, they're going to put you in federal prison and they're going to lock your ass up. And federal prison is worse than all these different state prisons, man. Yeah, it is. You know, mm -hmm. they're going to make sure that you pay because mm -hmm. they're like the, the head hunters and it started what in Rome, you it's know, called, uh, tax evasion. Yep. Tax evasion. E oh, go ahead. It's basically tax evasion is when you uh, basically skip out on paying mm -hmm. your taxes. So if, if you basically don't give them their their portion then they'll come after your ass, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It says uh, uh, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child, which mm -hmm. was he, I was shy. All right, and uh, it says, and so it was. I think was that was the, really your point, yeah. Yeah. So basically, going into Augustus Caesar taxing yeah, uh, Joseph and Mary. From wicked decrees, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you. I mean, I, and you have these um, you have these a holes that are trying to uh, speak about secular history, um, and they don't involve the scriptures. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with the scriptures. The scriptures link up with secular history. Yeah, you could, it, it tell you even um, Alexander uh, uh, was taxed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if these individuals, they they um, you see uh, Babylon, you see, you see the interaction of Babylon and and uh, the Israelites in Babylon. Uh, the, the Israelites in Babylon, how they interacted amongst the Babylonians. Um, you see how it rolls, you know, you see it even in the Persian and the Medes, how it influenced the people and how the Israelites even got influenced then. Greece, mm -hmm. that's one of the uh, main importance was uh, Alexander the Great, he pushed Hellenization. And you see how the Israelites, they became a uh, subject unto that Hellenized mentality. Mm -hmm. They were so Hellenized that they didn't even believe they were Israelites. Uh, same as today. Same as today. Today. So America is pushing the same Babylonian dogma, the same uh, Medo-Persian mm -hmm. idolism and, and witchcraft, the same Grecian uh, Olympics. Mm -hmm. When is the Olympics? What is it? 2020? Or 2024? Yeah. Uh, 2020. 2020. 2020, the Olympics is, is going to uh, come. Yeah, gymnasiums. The, the same gym. Uh, Jake, hey, just think how much... The, the gym actually generates a year mm -hmm. all over the United States. They generate billions of dollars. Yeah. To be a personal trainer, you know, you a good personal trainer can easily make, you know, $100,000, $200,000. Yeah, you got to go to school for that. Mm -hmm. When I was in the world, I was looking to go to uh, school to be a, 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 a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing now and leading up to Rome. Because Rome, Rome was big on... Um, uh, what's that word? Um, 
gladiatorial fights. Mm -hmm. It was big in uh, theatrics, uh, which now you have a a theater. theater. If you mm -hmm. if you if you go to school for 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 uh, acting, or say these top actors, you know, like these Will Smiths and these Denzel Washington, they'll they'll do a movie and get thirty thirty million dollars, man. Mm -hmm. Forty million dollars uh, for a hit, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. So you see how Rome, that Roman culture, as well, like we said, went into the government, we went into the entertainment, mm -hmm. we went into the sports, we went so into the military. Today. We're living in Rome all over again. They even got um, uh, what's that, Mar Sugarloaf? Mm -hmm. They got the uh, gladiator fighting thing. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Watch. They even got that in the mall. Medieval times. Yeah, medieval mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. I want to get that in uh, Daniel too. Too, um, you had some more on what you uh, where you was at? Or you that was, that was it. it. Okay, Daniel two and it started. Say thirty five. Matter of fact, forty one. Daniel two and forty one. Daniel chapter 2, verse 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of powder's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that, even at, at, at the glory of all of Rome, it still had its levels of division. Mm -hmm. Now, fast forward today. You had a couple years ago, it was spoken that California wanted to break off from the United States. Texas, you know, had the same uh, principles that was applied. You wanted to have upper and lower California. So these different governments don't agree with each other. You know, that's why today you have what? The United, it's, it's known as the United States of America. The word United States of America is united, one, states independent, of America. America is 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 was it 51 51 states? If I'm not mistaken. It's 51 states. 50, in, right? 50, 50, 50 states in the United States. States. No. Uh, yeah, you got Alaska, you got Hawaii, but um you know, so it's 50 states. The 50 states of America is broken glass. Mm -hmm. You could you could go to one part of the United States and have a uh, 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 what do they call it? Uh, a dope 20, 20 grams of, of marijuana on you, be, you know, you got to be uh, politically correct. 20 grams of marijuana on you, and the police will see that, and they'll wave the hand. Yeah. You go to another part of America, and they'll lock your ass up and treat you like the, the worst thing uh, on the face of the earth. Yeah, your life is basically gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a for you, too. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This uh, Matthew 12 and uh, 25. It says, and Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, mm. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Beautiful. Every kingdom brought to itself is, uh, uh, excuse me, divided against itself is brought to desolation. Mm -hmm. Now, Rome, it had a level of division, but it wasn't divided to the level of America. America is extreme with it. And it and it continues to go every day. Now you have in Alabama where uh what he said they're passing legislation to castrate um mm -hmm. uh, anybody uh, oh, yeah, uh, six middle, years. A, a sexual act with anybody thirteen years or, or younger. Thirteen oh, years or younger. Touch, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now now dealing with America too, you have um I, I want to word it correctly. You have a policy, so to speak, where you can have sex. With children up to fourteen in certain states of the United States, mm -hmm. passed by parental consent. Yeah, kind of. Fifteen in Georgia. So which is so you you could get your nuts cut off in one part of the state, but if it's parentally consented, then then uh, then you all good. This is this is Babylon. This yeah, is the land Babylon. of confusion, man. Yeah, that's how we know. That's why this is heavy. That um, you know, it's leading up to this point. Because we see how we're living in Babylon all over again. Mm -hmm. We see how we live in, in um, Greece all over again. See it. We see how we live in, in, in uh, Rome all over again. Even as far as, you know, like uh, how you were speaking um, before the uh, camera cut on, as far as the statues and mm -hmm. the monuments. Yeah, the Cali Bresci. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. Georgia, Mississippi fighting over water. Mm -hmm. Can you, uh, what's that, Sirach 36 and 1? One of your brothers got a precept? 
I was going to close in a circle. Okay. And it says, uh, in every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Mm -hmm. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How how shall then his kingdom stand? Yeah, so Yahweh Shah started to see the level, level of division amongst the Romans. And at the end of the day, he knew that this wasn't the kingdom, this wasn't the kingdom of heaven. Because he was the king. Mm -hmm. And he knew that was a filthy ass kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. That's why what? His whole his whole Modus operandi and operandi is mo, but that's even Latin. Was um mm -hmm. to pull Jake out of Rome. Yeah, kind of. Like you, Jake saw in Rome. Man, y'all think this is good here? Y'all need to get with the kingdom of heaven. Y'all kind of. need to get with the, the the most high, the power above. Y'all look at this. Y'all sick. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't have anybody to represent y'all. Y'all under high taxations. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Follow the disciples. Follow the men that rest a, 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 around me because this is where you're going to have comfort. Follow this book. The hell with what you're going. The hell with what you're following. That's why you had certain Jakes that, that follow Yahweh Shah because what? They were sick. They were lame. Meaning what? In today's time, the medical government, yeah. the hospitals wasn't, wasn't giving them cures. Mm -hmm. You go to, you, you have cancer. You have all these different sicknesses. You go to Esau, he's going to throw dope in your lap, man. Yeah. Antibiotics, which kill the good and bacteria in your body, you know some of those antibiotics make you sick. Yeah. They might destroy this, the, the the negative cells, but they destroy the positive too, man. So Jake was going through those those the same thing they're going through now, and Yahweh Shah was 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 slapping the uh the the, the book up in front of him, <coughs> man, right. and giving him the words of hope to know that it, it is a greater hope. Someone on that or that's it. That was it. Man. You guys are uh, something about. I'm going to show you when when Rome again. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse uh, verse nine. The thing that hath been, mm. it is that which shall be. That's it, right there. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, this is Rome all over again. Ancient Rome, ancient mm -hmm. Greece. Mm -hmm. The reverse spirit of the Lord, yeah, Babylon, Solomon, more is all mixed in the one pot, the melting pot. Mm -hmm. And it's all, everything is replanted itself. So now Esau is, is the modern day Pharaoh mm -hmm. that the Lord uh, had took down in uh, ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. He hardened his heart. Because, yeah, he hardened his heart. Yeah, ancient yeah. Egypt, he ruled most of the, the, the known land. Mm -hmm. and Esau is doing the same thing now. Yeah. yeah. That's why, I, in, in one part of America or, or another, it has some piece of Everywhere, every great kingdom, Assyria, you have the symbols of, of Assyria, you look on your wine bottles, you look on your liquor bottles, you might see an Assyrian idol, uh, you might see a Babylonian idol, mm -hmm. it might be named after um, uh, Assyrian or, uh, or some somebody that, in that kingdom, like, you know, uh, Greece, you know, like we, we just spoke about how you have the Grecian um, idols, even the days of the month, you have January, which was named after Janus. Mm -hmm. February all the way down to uh, December, you know these were Latin, uh, Roman, um, and Greece based uh, spirits, so to speak. You know you had the days of the week. Yeah, Rome, Rome Georgia. Georgia. You had fi Friday Frig Day. You had mm -hmm. Rome, Georgia. You have Athens, yeah, Georgia. You got the Smyrna, um, Smyrna. Smyrna, city of Smyrna. Here. City of Smyrna. Smyrna. Mm -hmm. You have um, you have Babylon, New York. It's a place oh, yeah. in New York named Babylon. Memphis, uh, Tennessee. Memphis, uh, Egypt. Memphis yeah. Tennessee is named after Memphis, Egypt. Man. You have the obelisk all throughout the United States, which represents penises. That's why it's penises damn near everything you touch, man. Yeah, kind of. You look at it, you're like, man, why does, like a, you know, no homo, of course, like a fucking sl a slong, man. Uh, mm -hmm. A penis. Got it. Because it is a penis. Where did they get that inspiration of putting penises and vaginas everywhere? From uh, Egypt, because they knew what that would do. What that would excite the um, emotions of the people. The emotions of the people and keep them off. That's why you always got a sexual high. Like man, why always got want to fucking have sex, man? Yeah, kind of. Because uh, you you don't you, you don't look that fucking the thousand vaginas without. You know they say even that with TV. You you'll turn on TV and you'll see like five hundred images of people just killing yeah, it. Subliminal. Yeah, yeah, all these subliminal messages and all this crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. That's the witchcraft, man. That's why yeah, how was I was pushing that man to get. Flee Rome, flee these different kingdoms, 
Oh, and matter of fact, you get that Micah 2. Uh, 2 and 10. You, yeah. you got some more on that, Kabash? Uh, come. Um, oh, no, that's it. I got that in my This is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it says, uh, basically, calm, calm Yasha'Allah, man. Raj Yasha'Allah, get the fuck up out of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. And we can't physically leave. Who got the money to leave? Who got the money to uh, actually take, pack up their goods? Because that's... Men of the Lord understood what condition each and every one of the men were, were facing. Mm -hmm. He, they, Micah obviously knew that Jake didn't have enough money to get together and uh, leave the kingdom physically. Mm -hmm. It was speaking about leaving them in a state of mind, spiritual mm -hmm. independence. Yeah. Because right. when you start to show, say for instance, we start, we create a financial uh, uh, district in America under the banner of the Israelites, and we only exchange with that with that uh, money money uh, system. You know how quick the government will come down upon us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had this uh, one Jake who I uh, used to play basketball in the world with. He knew he was an Israelite. <laughs> he said, uh, he made a statement saying, we all should just uh, find, find a spot in the woods and just make our own civilization there. Like some fucking orangutans. <laughs> you got you got animals in the woods that can't even live in the woods no and more. It's like, bro, we still be in America. Yeah, we, we just looking simple, looking like apes and shit. <laughs> what we gonna eat? You gonna have to see Jake be watching too many movies, man. Don't call trespassing. <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's a bunch of Negroes that's just in the woods laying laying on leaves. Oh, and shit. we went into that. We went into that taxation. Yeah, he saw. Yeah. Still gonna find a way. It, it ain't no even these woods and stuff owned by somebody. Yeah, owned, it's yeah, owned by yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah. Acres, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, those acres alone. I got, I got some. Got this is uh, Matthew 22. This actually goes into what we were talking about. Uh, Matthew 22 and 17. Therefore, tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Yeah, so that was niggas trying to run from, do, some, do a little tax evasion, mm -hmm. be independent, start their own military. Now, of course, that was uh, them trying to throw you out, shine a trick bag. Yeah, ultimately. Ultimately. But in today's time, Jake still asks the same questions. Mm -hmm. Should we pay our taxes or not? Yeah. You know, should, should we, we live a live a part of the system? Mm -hmm. yeah. Should I file my taxes this year? Mm -hmm. Man, file your, pay your taxes, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we always go to what Romans thirteen, man. Be, you got to be subject. Mm -hmm. Subject to payment. You, we mm -hmm. subject to payments. The word subject means under rule. The devil is t on top of us told us to pay this amount. Pay that amount, man. Right. Yeah. Keep going. It says, but Yahweh yeah, Shai perceived that. their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Mm -hmm. Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. They brought the white man's money. Mm -hmm. So like, show me the image. All right. Who does this belong to? This belongs to the devil. Get a devil his portion of what he's giving you, man. Yeah, which is a perfect answer. Which is a perfect answer. And he said unto them, whose who's is this image and subscription? And that's how you know, um, like brothers always bring out, that's how you know who is uh, the ruler of a particular society is whose face is on the money. Mm -hmm. You know? Just like in these times. Mm -hmm. Just like in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And yeah, and they were speaking about Harriet Tubman. Yeah. Harriet Tubman. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, 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 that, yeah, that was that, just something that. that. <laughs> they these off. That was, that's, you saw witchcraft. They, they, yeah, play, witchcraft. they play these false considerations. Like, mm -hmm. a, what is it? How many acres in a mule? 40 acres? 40. Ain't one nigga got to make us, man. Mm -hmm. And what a nigga know what to do with a mule? 40 acres in a mule, that was just, that's them playing Jake, man. Mm -hmm. They've been doing that since the beginning of time. They know how to throw something out. Let's just throw some energy out there. We ain't gonna yeah, get all excited just over the over the thought of it, yeah. even if it don't even uh, come to fruition. Yep. Yeah. Twenty years later, yeah, we still consider it. No, no, no. You know, his policy is. Mm, you know, this white. Yeah. Hey, uh, J. Cole had a song where he was talking about that. Uh, he was saying he was speaking to Barack Obama, and uh, he was trying to ask him what what's going on with. with Basically, Jake being beat down. He was like, man, you know, it's, it's policy and stuff, man. I ain't got control over this. You know, it take time. Mm -hmm. But that's the games that Esau plays through, what, being diverse from the neighbors. It's not like a monarchy. Yeah, just mm -hmm. give it time, you know. That's yeah. why yeah. That's why the, the scriptures, like, that's why the scriptures is our home book. Because, uh, mm -hmm. because I mean, every other nation got their gods and stuff like that. We the only ones that's the strength. You know what right. I'm We have, this is our continuous city, but. Yeah, I'm Jeremiah 17 yeah, and 4. Yeah, yeah. It's heavy, you man. can't go to the summit meetings and nothing like that. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they'll take mm-hmm. it for us like how we see fit. Yeah, right. They we're, choose to set you free. We're, we're aliens, man. We don't even belong yeah. here, to be honest. Yeah. Pilgrims. That's why when you watch movies like District 9, you see how the aliens, they were just totally outcast. You know, you have that, the, the, even the rap group, outcast, which means cast out. We're here, but that don't mean that we're not outcast. We're outcast, man. We don't belong here. You got, you got some more? Yeah, I'll just finish up on this last verse. They say unto him, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, render therefore unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. Yeah, pay him. Pay him, his, mm-hmm. pay him what you owe him. And unto the most high, the things that are the most high. And yeah, what do you owe the most high? His debts, which is the spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, so what you do with your money, you can't, you know, as people say, incorporate uh, church and state. You know, this these things that we do on a physical plane, you know, it's, it's, it's for the physical. You know, the most high, he, he doesn't care about money. He doesn't want your money. He, he wants your soul. He wants your spirit. And that's the debt that we have to play, pay. And that's who we have to fully commit to. Right. Not to the things of this this freaking world, man. This world is is, is full of filthy and falliness, man. Yeah. Dealing with Rome, man. Dealing, you know, we're going to go into the depths of Rome, you know, through the spirit, which we, we've we been going into. When you deal with Rome, they was all about freakism, man. Partying. They wanted to give their whole soul onto Rome. That was that was Jake. Mm-hmm. Jake, the festivities, uh, the, what's that, Baca, uh, Bacchanalia, mm-hmm. which Jake would just get stupid drunk and uh, a party you know, relentlessly in Rome, and they didn't want to be free, but you still had that cusp of men, those, those few good men, it wasn't a lot of them, and most of them wasn't even recognized at that time, you think people really revered, uh, uh, you know, Peter, and uh, uh, um, these individuals, I'm saying, when they started first in the reception of Yahweh Shah, later mm-hmm. on, their name sprung up, but they wasn't even you know, paying Yahweh Shah mom like that, yeah, you know, right. They was acting like Yahweh Shah was just a, a, a another guy. But they said in the scriptures, well, we know his sister and his brother and his father. Like, mm-hmm. you know, he's an ordinary Jake. What he up there doing, reading the scriptures like that? Like how he speaks such words about the scriptures? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like he, like he knows the truth about the Pharisees and stuff. Like that. That's right. He says, not this uh, Joseph and Mary's uh, child. Yeah. And then Yahweh Shah was like, man, a prophet ain't even without uh, honor, man. You know, I ain't even got honor amongst my own. Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. y'all know me. But y'all, y'all still see me like that, that, that little, uh, little, little Jake, that was just walking around uh, Bethlehem, so to speak, yeah. or, or Nazareth. An ordinary Israelite in those days, because we knew who we were. Mm-hmm. So we, you know, we probably tell the nigga. But in these times, Jake, they, you know, accustomed to the Babylonian mindset, uh, you know, by way of deceit for the enemy Esau. And when the Lord woke us up, started with the positive others on down. Then, you know, they, they. Went out preaching the truth, calling ourselves Israelites. But then you got Jake, two thirds of Israel that can't see, just like uh, those people that you know cast doubt on Yahweh's name and uh, miracles and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Even into the times where he uh, was on the cross. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. It's, it's some more on that. That was it. Uh, you, you brothers had anything uh, else? Okay. This is uh, John chapter ten, verse uh, thirty. I and mean, this is what Yahweh was talking about. Uh, Talking about Esau in those times when he was ruling. Uh, this is um start from the beginning. Here hereafter I will talk no, not much with you for the prince of this world coming. Mm. And who is the prince of this who who is he talking about? He's talking about Esau. Yeah. Esau is ruling. Herod, mm. uh, different seasons, uh, so on and so forth. They was ruling in those times. That's why they had the money, the face of the dollar. I mean, the face of the uh-huh. currency was Esau. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the, the Yahweh Shah referred to him as prince, but then Yahweh Shah say he's the son of, of the living power, the son of God, speaking verbatim. He's the king of kings, the Lord's voice. Mm-hmm. That's why they that's why they hung him on the cross because you know they said, "Oh, so you the king of Jews?" Um, yeah, not, and uh, not a word, that word. So. No, nah, that's that's true, but that, that that's why the word prince is like an underling, an underling of the king. Mm-hmm. You know, the prince uh, helps carry out the plans of the king. Mm-hmm. And the king of uh, these Edomites is Satan, man. Yeah, Satan. That's, right. that's why you have these top uh, Jews. And you had this one interview a couple years ago. It might have been like six, seven years ago. They were speaking about how that the, the uh, Jews, that the, their God is really Lucifer. They said that's why we put um, pork, or excuse me, we put human um, DNA in your breakfast. McDonald's, yeah. your, your McDonald's, he said that's why your top uh, food chains in the, in the uh, sausages, 
and um, bacon. yeah, bacon. It was something to that degree, you know. Basically showing that we, you know, we, we truly worship Satan. And even when you deal with occultism and when you deal with the, the high level of Satanism, they have round table meetings and they leave one seat open because they say that's where uh, Satan sits, man. So what the, what the fuck is up with all that shit, man? Right. When, when I was putting on that pinnacle by Satan and he transfigured him uh, some type of way, he showed the kingdoms of, in, the, in the end world, in the end world where he was ruling it. Yahweh mm -hmm. showed him. He showed you how say so you how shot that look. If you bow down to me, I can give you all these kingdoms that I rule over. Yeah, and what did no he rule over? Kingdom. The, the kingdoms that, that Satan had rule over was this. Mm -hmm. Right. He basically showed them all wrong. Yep. And of course there was the whole the whole magnitude of the world, but the main area where Yahweh Shah was at, where he was in captivity under, was was the white boys, man. Yeah, and Rome represents the people first. Rome is the yeah. people before right. it's a place. The Even though Jaffe dwelled there in Rome first, but it was conquered by Esau, so Esau still has, he represents, he's the forehead of Rome, he's the face of Rome. He's the face right. of Rome. Eat him, oh, eat him Rome. Brothers went into that, how when you even type in Rome, it basically speaks about how Edom was the uh, the main kingdom, or the main people that represent Rome. If you're dealing with a people, place, you have to deal with a people. Okay. Right. And and the people of Rome are the are the Edomites. Mm -hmm. So it's more that's, that's in scriptures too, because the Lord said in um what was it, Genesis, thou shall break the bonds of thy well, thou shall break the yeah, thy brother's bonds from off thy neck. Mm -hmm. And he did that in the time of after King Saul. Mm -hmm. Because King and King's uh when King David was ruling, Esau ran to Egypt and certain parts were you know, amongst other nations that wasn't warned against Esau. Because right. King David had all of the kingdoms ruled at the time. They were paying tribute. And King David, he was going out making hits. He was damn near killing off all the Edomites in those times. Mm -hmm. So he had to wait until what, uh, King Solomon, after that, he died down after his son ruled King uh, Rehoboam. Rehoboam, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so Esau got back into power after that mm -hmm. with, the, with the Greece Empire. Mm -hmm. And then after that, yeah, that's Greece right. formed it to. Wrong. Yeah, that's the time they had us in captivity to destroy the temple. They, they was at the right. apex, and that's why I have uh, excuse me, uh, the symbol up right here, that symbol of the eagle, because they they started to exalt. You know, when you see an eagle take off, when it when it gets high, nothing could take it down. Because why? Because the eagle flies higher than any other bird. That's that's uh, what we read in Daniel. He was uh, more stout than his fellows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that eagle. Yeah, it's it's Oh, yep. Joshua is out that stuff as an eagle. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's spiritual. Obadiah. Yep. Yeah, and Obadiah. Obadiah. It's spiritual too, because I remember I was uh I remember I was contemplating in my head and I asked if I could be any animal, what would I be? And uh, you know, you always think about yourself being a big, big beast. Mm -hmm. Uh first off, you don't want to be prey because you'll get devoured soon. So I started to cut out process of elimination. And I was like, man, you know, at the end of the day, predators, they they fight a lot. It's a lot of infighting. You might have other other predators. And things of that nature on the earth that could uh, take you down. You know, you have aquatic and things of that nature. But you know what I said? I said, I want to be a bird. I, if I was an animal, I'd be a bird, man. Yeah, they're amongst the top of the food chain. They're the top of the food chain because, wow, they have aerial vision. They have the higher layout. They uh, who, Who's preying on birds like that? What? Like they ain't on land. They're not on land. Yeah, exactly. That's you have the king of the jungle with your lions. How, how many lions caught an eagle? How many uh, leopards? How many bears? These big beasts, but those are you know, you know, pretty pretty uh, prominent animals. But who, who's cutting down an eagle's lifespan? If you shoot down an eagle, you gonna you gonna do time, man. Mm -hmm. So even those type of animals, even on a whole, aren't even preyed on upon men. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, that shows you the power of really the eagle, the power of Esau. That's right. Uh, you got that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm stopping the time again. John chapter 14, verse 30. Hereafter, I would not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. Mm -hmm. See, so, so Esau, you can go attached to this blessing, man, that we're going to get in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So when Yahweh shot. Because he's already ruling. He's already in, in his heaven. That's why you have the spirit of Rome already. Mm -hmm. Verse 31. But that the world may know that I love the Father and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, that's really just the main point. You know, we just went into the inception of Rome. 
uh, the influence of how the Romans actually factored into the Israelites' lives um, and what we were doing in Rome, you know, because at the end of the day, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai and the disciples, they weren't being uh, partakers of Rome, but they were fighting against the powers that be, not physically, not financially, not militarily, but through the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, starting with Yahweh Shah. So, Lord willing, we'll do the uh, second segment segment that's going to go into the uh, finale of it, uh, the fall of Rome. You know, so we're going to end it by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, my. Shalom. Shalom.